so lessons from montreal protocol so we can use this in climate change in climatology and environmental geography and limits to growth in regional planning and economic geography so let's see this background what is the news india is going to ratify kigali agreement which is amendment to the kyoto protocol so what is montreal protocol it is an international environment agreement with almost universal ratification uh, it eliminates the use of ozone depleting substances so according to scientific assessment of ozone depletion 2018 uh, ozone recovery rate is 1 to 3% per decade since 2000 so this is very good and uh, ozone will fully recover by 21st century also 98% of odes has been phased out compared to 1990 levels and antarctic ozone hole will return to pre 1980 levels by 2060 so these are all the success of ozone uh, montreal protocol so montreal protocol is the most successful in international environment agreement so this must guide the international response to the climate change as well so let's see the timeline in 1995 we had the vienna convention for protection of ozone layer in 1997 we had the montreal protocol on substances that depleted ozone layer in 2007 hcfc was accelerated phase acceleratedly phased out in 2009 global production of cfc said halons ends and in 2016 we have kigali amendment so what is the proof of montreal success so these are the uh, halogens ozone ozone depleting substances uh, so these are the natural emissions which are constant always and uh, these have increased because of the industrialization all those stuff and this is the watershed moment where the pro- montreal protocol happened after that everything reduced so this is a proof for that so what are the reason for success first one is uh, pointing out the cause and effect so uh, cause is ozone hole and the uh, effect is the health impact so it was able to directly correlate the agreement is binding it is clearly time bound it gives mandatory time tables which can be amended later also limited number of chemicals are targeted unlike climate change which targets too many chemicals and uh, everything stuff and uh, compliance is non punitive so it helps the countries to come back into compliance even the slip out there is independent tech and economic assessment that is uh, how developing developed how uh, helping developing countries with respect to technology and uh, fund transfers and flexibility to include more sector controls in future and universal ratification is there and cbdr rc that is common but differentiated responsibility and uh, respective capabilities so stringent targets for all but uh, 10 years grace period was given for developing countries with re- low per capita cfc consumption so what are the limitations of the cops with respect to climate change when compared to the montreal protocol first one is a lack of consensus developed want uh, are not assuming the responsibility whereas developing they don't want to sacrifice development for the emission reductions Uh, next these are all voluntary targets uh, which are nationally determined contributions or ndcs no enforcement mechanisms are there with respect to uh, ldc and developing this is a huge problem and uh, lack lacking universal ratification for example iran iraq turkey libya they are not uh, uh sign the paris agreement and uh, ineffective financial mechanism for example global climate fund uh, it had the aim of 100 billion per year to be mobilized by 2020 but in reality only 2020 uh, it will be only possible by 2023 and uh, so so what are the lessons that to have to be learned from the montreal protocol first one is the sectoral approach so divide climate problem into different sectors and approach each sector for example montreal uh, targeted only ozone cbdr rc must be definitely there so we have to transfer finance and tech to developing countries so they can implement the climate change related measures and montreal had the multilateral fund to implement a financial and tech transfer to developing binding time target and measurable commitments so these are three keywords for with respect to commitments now climate finance it, there must be periodic review and the finance must be replenished Uh, from model we can what we can learn is it had 3 years short commitment periods and uh, review later whereas uh, con- <coughs> climate change uh, it uses long 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 estimates so public support was garnered by scientists and advocates so people boycotted bug sprays hay sprays etc because of the publicity given by these advocates and now ipcc is trying to play a similar role with respect to climate change precautionary principle must be followed uh, it was followed in montreal Uh, international community dealt with crisis with urgency it demanded thereby avoiding far bigger longer and expensive and more damaging consequences so the conclusion is model is a revolutionary international legal and environmental agreement it bridged the north and south divide with respect to spread of the ozone safe technology also it helped combat climate change because the protocol reduced 135 billion ton carbon dioxide equivalent emissions